welcome to our mini tutorial on how to download and perform an upgrade installation of Sage BusinessWorks. This tutorial will explain how to perform the upgrade install and it will also show you how to run the client setup if using a networked version of the software. We're going to also cover how to download the software from our support website. Some tips before installing Sage BusinessWorks. Access the download at support dot na dot sage dot com. A login is required to download the product. If you have recently reset your password or the account has just been created, please wait an hour before trying to download the product. The product download must be installed on the computer where the Sage BusinessWorks program and data resides. You will not download the software on a client computer. The client setup needs to be run on each workstation after the installation is complete on the server. And if you are upgrading from version 2012 or earlier, please back up and rebuild all modules in all companies prior to upgrading. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how to download the software. You're going to start by going to Internet Explorer, where Firefox works as well, and you're going to go to support.na dot sage dot com. This is going to take you to the Sage knowledge base which also houses the downloads of the Sage BusinessWorks files. When prompted, go ahead and click log on. If you do not have an account signed up for the portal, go ahead and click sign up for a portal account. If you do not know your password, go ahead and select reset my password. Doing each of the, either of these items will take about an hour before you can access the portal. In this case, we're going to go ahead and enter our login and our password and click log on. Once logged in, we're going to choose the My Downloads option and then choose Sage BusinessWorks. This is going to bring you to the Downloads and Updates portion of the page. You'll see the latest product updates, which is where you will find the full versions of our software, as well as the latest updates, which are the service packs. For this tutorial, we're going to use the Sage BusinessWorks 2017 download. Once the download displays, you're going to see you have two options for downloading. You're going to have Download Now, which uses the Download Manager, which is an additional software that's installed to your computer to assist with the download. Or you can try the Direct Download, which is a little bit faster and is to be used in case of any error messages. For this tutorial, we're going to use the Download Now option. If the download does not automatically display, go ahead and click the manual download option. Once the software has been downloaded, it's going to ask you to choose a location for the download. And for ease of use, we're going to select the downloads folder and click OK. Once the download is complete, it's going to ask if we want to allow the program to make changes, and we're going to say yes to that. Then it's going to ask us where we would like to extract the installation files to on the local computer. We're going to leave it to the C drive default and click Setup. You'll now be prompted as a reminder for the PA DSS compliance. Uh, your credit card information will no longer be stored in the software. So if you're upgrading from an older version of the software, please be sure to set up a Sage Exchange account for storing of credit cards. And we're going to click Install Software to continue. And then we're going to type in the word Install to confirm our intent to install the software. Once the files have been extracted, you are now ready to begin the Sage BusinessWorks installation. Let's take a look at how to perform an upgrade installation of Sage BusinessWorks. In this instance, we're going to be upgrading from Sage BusinessWorks 2015 to Sage BusinessWorks 2017. We're going to begin by clicking to install Sage BusinessWorks. 
We're going to confirm the intent to make changes to this computer by hitting yes. The install is going to pop up onto the screen and then it will ask you to continue with the upgrade. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. It's going to detect that the correct version of Pervasive has been installed and that is correct and we're going to hit OK to continue. We're going to accept the terms of the license agreement after reading through the agreement and click Next. You're going to verify the client data path that is going to be used to access the data and once that's been confirmed you're going to click Next to continue. And this is the screen where you're going to verify the installation type, the program path, the data path, and the client data path all show the correct path to where your program and data currently reside. And if that all matches up, you're going to click Next to continue. And then it's going to perform the installation of the Sage BusinessWorks program files. Since there is no change to the version of Pervasive, there will be no Pervasive install that is required. Once the installation is complete, we're going to hit Finish, and then we're going to launch the program to verify that we can log into it. This will be using your existing user ID and password to perform the login. Once the, you have logged into the program, verify that the bar at the top of the screen shows that the current version is Sage BusinessWorks 2017, and by accessing Help and About, you should be able to verify that the program and data path that you are installed to matches what it was previously. The installation is now complete. If you're performing a network install, please continue to the instructions on how to run the client setup to see further information on how to set up the workstations. Now that we have completed the server portion of the install, I'm going to show you how to install a, a new Sage BusinessWorks client. So to begin with, we're going to right click on Start and click Open Windows Explorer. It's going to come up to the Windows Explorer window and this is where you're going to locate your server. Your server can either be found by browsing through the network and going to your server and there you'll see the Sage BusinessWorks, uh, the Sage folder. Or you can type in backslash backslash and then just type in the name of the server. In this instance, we will be typing in the server name and hitting enter and you see here now you also see the Sage folder. So we're going to double click on the Sage folder, we're going to double click on BW Prog, and then we're going to double click on the client setup. Once that's complete, you're going to double click autorun.exe and the install Sage BusinessWorks client will appear. And click on install Sage BusinessWorks client. You will get a user account warning likely, so go ahead and say yes to that. You will see the install will begin to prepare. We're going to click next. And then it's going to detect that if if Pervasive is not installed, then it will tell you that Pervasive needs to be installed. And if this is any type of an upgrade, this will be the same thing as well. You'll get this message, so you go ahead and hit OK. You'll confirm what program group you would like to place your client in and hit Next. And then you're going to verify the program path and the data path of that client. And then you're going to click Next to continue. And the install is going to progress. And when complete, you will get a finished dialog screen. So we're going to go ahead and click finish. And then we're going to exit out of the client setup and double click the Sage BusinessWorks icon. And as you see here, you'll log in using uh, the desired credentials. And that's all that there is to installing a new client. Now, if the Sage BusinessWorks client has already been installed on the computer, there's an easier way to get to that location. If they already have a Sage BusinessWorks icon, you can right click on that icon, and then you can go to Open File Location. 
and that's going to take you to that network location that the BW launcher file is in, which also houses the client setup folder. So then from here you can do the same steps and go into the client setup folder and then go to auto run and run the client setup from there. So that's what you can do on an, a workstation that has an existing install of Sage Business Works, but the other method works as well. I just want to thank you for viewing our video tutorial today on how to download and install Sage Business Works. If you have any further questions, please visit our knowledge base at support.na.sage.com. Thank you.